Hello, today we are going to look into an advanced feature of Eclipse. It means that uh, I have several files and in each file I have a main function. And of course I would like to compile and link those files separately. So how to do that? And this is what we are going to look into it. By the way, I have a fast track running. If you are coming back to this video or you are just uh, willing to know, Actually, it's running beside me on top of this video, uh, the path that you have to, to follow. So in my case, what I have to do here, it's that I have here a first um, file which contains a main file. You see it here. I will show you in the same project, I have a second file that also contains a main file. And I have a third with the same situation. What I want to show you also is that in those files I have here a function which is called sumrunner that you find in one of the files. And I have as well the same function but of course doing something differently in another file. So now if I compile the project or I build it I will build the, the complete project to let you appreciate what will happen. So it's building the, the different uh, files, meaning all those three files. And every time I have a um, mistake here, an error that says multiple definitions of some runner, the function we just looked at, and multiple definition of main. So what I want to do is to be able to compile and link one version of the program, that is to say, for example, with some on thread just, and without the two others, although the two files are present in the same directory. So how can I do this? This is what I'm going to show you now. In order to do that, we will have to go here and right-click on the, the project and go down to Build Configurations. You can also pass by the general menu on top and find Build Configuration. And what we will do is that we will manage those configurations And you see, we find the usual configuration by default that are debug and release. What I will do now is create a new one. I create that new one. I will name it the name of the file that I want to compile and link, which is sum underscore one underscore thread. I won't put any description and I will take the existing configuration of debug. So for this I say OK. Here I say also OK. Now I will refresh the project and you see here that something appeared. There is a sub directory called sum on thread. That one is the new configuration that we created. We have one more thing to do, but I will already show you if you try now in an attempt to build the project that nothing has changed, we still have the same errors. One thing more needs to be done, it's that we need to exclude from our configuration the two files we don't want to compile in that version. So I will take the first one, some malloc here and you see that we have the possibility to resource configurations and I will exclude it from the build and it is asking me from which build do you want to exclude it so I will say exclude object from build for the following configuration and I say now OK I will do the same for the second file that I don't want in this build, which is sum on many threads. I go to resource configuration, exclude from build, 
And once again, it's from the same build you see here. And I say OK. I will now refresh the project. I will also clean the project. One more step is now left to me. It's that I need to say that the active configuration that I want to use for this project is the one I just defined. So you see here there is the set active and I still have it on debug. So I will go on some on thread. I clean again the project to make sure I have everything fresh. I can now start a new build of the project. With that we can see that everything was built into this project and as you can see here it just took the file sum on thread and here down all the other two files have disappeared from the compilation and from linking. So I can also just now go and run to make sure that the, the run is fine. So you see that the, the run didn't go as well, so there are still issues that I need to solve. So I go up into run and you will see that we have here down run configurations. So in my case I'm doing development in a quite important project, so I have many configurations, so don't be afraid with all the configurations I have. So here we see the thread Dr. Fraser debug. So this means that it is the configuration entitled debug which is running, which is not the one I just wanted to have run. So I need to change this. And you see here down, it selected the build configuration automatically. So I will go change this. And here I have to define some on thread to, to make sure that the run will be done on some on thread. So I apply, we'll make a refresh, clean on the project. And now I go into the run, run. As you could see, it couldn't run. You see that if we go back to the run configuration, we've said to build uh, with the correct configuration, but here up we will see other things. You see that the name of the project is quite fine here, and you see here down that the application that we intend to run is still into debug. So we have to change this. We have to say that this is into the, the configuration folder, which is some, we could also change the name here, instead of being debug, it could be, let's say apply now, we will close this, so you see here, there is some on thread, which is here, and you see threads Dr. Fraser, so this makes me think that maybe the run I, I should title and title it threads Dr. Fraser. So what we need to, to change it's the application because of course it was with debug. So I will give here the name of the correct application that is threads dash Dr. Fraser. You see that I have here the run which is not grayed out. So I can apply and I can run. Okay, so it's uh, running, but I, I need to run in that case of that program to have some additional information because I need some arguments on this function and this is what is uh, missing in my definition. So I will give here some arguments, we'll say apply and now run and we'll see what happens. Okay. We will now do this also for another of those files, like that will be complete in uh, our demo. So I take some on many threads. For this I need to go into the build configuration again. And I will build a specific configuration for that file. Again new. Some 
on many thread. It's exactly the same. I copy the debug configuration. Okay. We say okay here. And now we set that one as the active configuration. So we go again into build configuration and here set active and we set the new one as active one. And now we are going to exclude the files. So of course we'll exclude the two others, which are some malloc. Again, resource configuration, exclude from build. And it's not some on thread, it's some on many thread where we want to exclude it. So we can say OK. And some on thread, that one, we are also going to exclude it from that configuration. So resource configuration, exclude from build. Some on many threads. And we say OK. So till that point we are good. So now we are going to build or attempt to build the, the project. So you see here it's compiling sum on many threads and no more sum on threads, which was the previous one. So this is fine. Compilation was fine. What is left now is to go and change the run configuration. So we go into run. And we have here to go into run configuration. Now you see again the build is done on sum on thread. So this we want to change it. Sum on many thread. And we entitle this sum on thread. And here, as you see here, was created another subdirectory since we created a new configuration, sum on many threads. So here we add sum on many threads. Okay, so we've changed the application, the application. We've changed the name just to, to have it somewhere. And here we can now say apply. With that, we are going to attempt our first run and see what's happening. You see that uh, the computation is uh, different here. So I won't enter into the details of the program, but it's executing a different program. So this is what we expected. With that, you've seen now how we can have several make files, how we can have several functions, but in different files, and have uh, build configurations where we build one of the program and then we build another one. This is helpful for tutorials. This can also be helpful when you test with different versions and you don't want to create a new project. So I hope this trick for me was really intensive in the sense that I looked for it for a really, really long time till I really managed. And then I thought that uh, with this video I can share with you those knowledges I gathered by doing my development work as a consultant. So I wish you a good day. Hope this was helpful to somebody. Have a nice time. See you soon. Bye.